Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to talk about Bakery Swap, which is an NFT platform. And of, of course, on this platform itself, you can earn some uh, passive income as well. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification, and leave a thumbs up to this video, and let's get started. So we are going to talk about what is Bakery Swap. Uh, Bakery Swap, basically, it is a platform for you to basically you can earn, um, basically, with, stuck, uh, with staking. So let's say you have some... Uh, tokens you can become a liquidity provider and put it in and after that you can earn interest rate as well and of course you can earn their native token called a big and after that you can if let's say you have big you can stake big and you will get a uh, 15 percent per annum and of course other liquidity as well so let's say you have some berries or some other coins you can let's say you have, um yeah basically all of these over here let's say you have some uh where do i see it uh yeah, basically most of it it is a liquidity provider so you need to become a liquidity provider and after that you can earn big over here and of course there's also the big staking also yeah basically over here you can put in some tokens that it is a bit weird i don't know what's all this token basically it is running on a binance smart chain you can yeah get this kind of token and from there you can just stick it and from there you will earn whatever it is being generated so stick big and another coins uh basically that and for nft pool is coming soon and what's hot right now liquidity providing so we are going to talk about how can you like we are going to go to the main point talking about where can you buy nft tokens from the binance uh from bakery swap and after that yeah basically uh, on this content we are going to talk about how can you mint your own nft as well so i've already done mine so stay tuned if you want to understand more so we're going to talk about how do you like um create your own i mean buy your own nft so we here on the nft supermarket itself you can see that some featured artists so these are the artists that you somehow approve and have some partnership with them blah 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 so over here there's some digital artworks uh, over here you can mean your own artwork as well so let's say if you want to buy some nft so let's say you want to buy from this cookie, mo cookie monster monster you can click on whatever it is approved and from there you can buy his artwork his or her artwork and after that basically uh the native token over here to use is the big token which is their big token so right now uh bakery swap is the so far on my research of nft like where can you create nft and after that buy and of course like a marketplace basically on bakery swap itself um I managed to find this platform and come across this therefore i find it interesting and of course i minted some of my um, I minted an NFT which is quite lame and over here you can see that this guy or this girl uh, submitted their artwork and it got approved and yeah basically recognized by bakery swap and from there uh, listed some artwork which you can purchase off with big so right now how much is big one big token is around I would say estimated around one dollars and after that you can see that yeah this artwork is going to cost two hundred thousand three hundred thousand and yeah, many more so you can click on the artwork itself and you can see that um it was listed like previously people bought it at 100 100 big itself and right now people are listing it at like 200,000 so nft is crazy so for the bitcoin artist itself let's say you are an artist you want to create some bitcoins uh bsc uh, art, uh bsc's art you can yeah basically upload it here on the platform itself so we are going to talk about how can you create your own nft on bakery swap so once you click on a supermarket just click on whichever section uh bear in mind that let's say uh some section over here you can't uh put in your own you can't mint you can't mint your own token so right, right now over here you can see my pets itself battle pets it is a platform um which is really running uh some nst and after that from there you can buy and after that uh, basically this pet is going to fight with you or whatsoever and for weapons as well so you can see for the pets itself so let's say you are a creator a content uh, i mean a graphic designer and you want to create some nft on the binance smart chain you can just click on bin artworks and after that from there you can choose the uh art type let's say you're gonna mix up gif you can click on gif and after that enter basically this is your name so mine is i'm gonna just put this and your art uh basically this is your name and this is your artwork so artwork for example and of course it is optional for you to put your instagram i would say this public uh, profile page it is to show your portfolio so for mine i just put my youtube channel and for the brief introduction of this artwork itself uh remember you can yeah basically type whatever you want and show to people 
uh, what is this artwork all about and after that you need to upload your own artwork so once you have done it you need to pay uh, a fee of 0.01 plus the network fee on Binance Smart Chain so yeah basically it is a few cents a few cents on Binance Smart Chain for the network and after that on top of that listing your NFT for minting it through the network you need to pay a 0.01 BNB so you can't upload uh, sensitive content and of course there's no like copyright or plagiarism allowed on your artwork so if it is if it is detected it will automatically remove your artwork and basically um, I would say that you will you will have the token on the Binance Smart Chain but for your picture to like shown on bakery shop it is impossible because they have removed the content and they have deleted i will say deleted your artwork but for the token wise yes you will still own the token and after that this is this is the one thing worrying about nft is basically if let's say a platform issues the token uh you created an artwork if they do not somehow they have some censorship uh on their website itself because on the on the smart chain itself i would say in a blockchain itself you will receive tokens so over here you can see i've minted some and of course let's say um yeah let's say you own some uh, token it's going to be erc721 token and you will get an id so if you click on the id itself you can't see the picture or let's say whatever artwork you're creating you just you will only see this artwork nft and after that the token id and of course you are the owner and from there if let's say you have listed something like this if you put this on sales and eventually this gets like removed because of some sensitive content therefore you are unable to see your picture on the website anymore but on the token itself yes you will still have the token but it is somehow worthless because this token itself is just an id there's no picture or whatsoever onto it so nft is a bit scary because of the platform that is yeah basically managing and being a provider for your nft artworks and to be honest um this web, I would say it is still centralized because this is a dog org and they have full control of whatever content they want to show. So example, they do not like your content or let's say you are very unlucky. They just decided you post a content that is somehow you use Photoshop and after that, some, some content over there was copyrighted and they detected it. They remove it, let's say for this Lego, uh, yeah, basically this tower tree or whatsoever is this. They see this and they do not like it they just remove it basically yeah your hour will be gone you just you are just left with the token itself so i'm gonna talk about what is my nft on the bakery swap so if you uh if you let's say you've already minted your artwork and stuff like this just click on your my artworks and from there you can see i do not own any just click on this pending because mine is currently pending so if you click on this and over here i've created a super lame gift which I would say that took me around 30 to 45 minutes to just generate this moving GIF on Photoshop. And to be honest, um, yeah, if those who those who know how to use Photoshop, to be honest, you can't really create like 3D or amazing pictures um, through Photoshop because Photoshop, I would say it is an editing software for you to like create a thumbnail, uh, like those 2D thumbnail. And after that, on 3D wise, you people would use Illustrator. If you want to create some NFTs, so right now you can see I'm pen, uh, they are still pending to approve my artwork. And after that, you can see I name my artwork I love PNB. Yeah, basically just random. And the artist uh, name is me, simply everything crypto. And if you click on it, it will be my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, basically it's not shown there. So if you click on it, you can see that yeah, this is my page itself. I do not have any artwork, but to be honest, um, they did not listed pancake swap because I personally. Own, uh, own one pancake or NFT, so I'm gonna look at it so you can scroll down all the way. NFT tokens over here ERC721 pancake bunny. So I already have some uh pancake bunnies token, and yeah, we are waiting for them to list more token out. And after that, to be honest, Bakery Shop is not really an amazing platform, I would say. Um, but on my research and of course searching, I managed to find one NFT platform that allows you to create your own uh NFT for your fans. Let's say you have a have a huge fan base, and after that they are willing to support you, um, by paying your artworks and stuff like this. Um, yeah, basically Bakery Swap is one of the platform that you can consider first. Uh, because I'm still searching for more platform, and eventually if I manage to search for, yeah, I manage to find a platform like OpenSea or Rarible, uh, on the Ethereum block, uh, Ethereum uh, network, if something like this arise on my, on my search. I would definitely make a video about it and i would say that right now to do with is basically bakery swap i would say that's the only place that you can bin your artwork 
So you just click on Mint and you can create your own personalized uh, artwork so that you can see that many people have created their own artwork. And to be honest, it is very amazing. All these arts over here, it is, yeah, I would say that it's nice. And compared to my artwork, I would say mine is a bit trashy. And to be honest, yeah, of course, uh, next if uh, in the future that I find a proper uh, platform, I will just create, I mean, create better, uh, more amazing pictures. So here you can see I love PMB and I bought this NFT. So this on this platform itself, the cons of it, I would say compared with Rarible or OpenSea, um, I would say Rarible. Most uh most people use Rarible to create their own NFT. So I would say that this platform itself they have some flaws. So my opinion is, let's say if you're gonna create your own NFT, so you click on Mint, and let's say you want to have like five of these artwork um being released on the platform. Like let's say your this one one artwork itself there's five copies of it. You can't technically uh list list how many collection you want. This is only one time. So let's say if you want to mint five of the same picture. You have to name it like maybe artwork one and after that maybe like first something like this artwork uh this is your artwork name one and after this is the first edition and of course if let's say you have created an nft you have minted it and the next artwork you want to do you have to do second and after that blah 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 and after that you need to pay the fees of 0 0.01 per minting so let's say um, you want to create five artworks, you need to pay 0 0.05 worth of PMB to them to mint your network and I mean your artwork and to let to let them list your picture on their website itself. So you might be thinking that why do they charge for 0 0.01? To be honest, um, because of storage, I can understand that why they charge uh, charge a small amount of fee. Um, basically, whoever want to create um net, uh, artworks on their platform itself, they have to pay for the storage that they are going to store your pictures and after that showing to the public and from there it is gonna whatever you created over here it will be yeah shown over here if this if it get approved and of course yeah good luck and of course i hope you like this video and of course if you like the video leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on post notification and yeah see you on the next video and of course if i manage to find any open c uh variables similar on the Binance smart chain or you have find you have found any platform that is the same as wearable or OpenSea, feel free to comment it down below and I will check it out. And of course, if it is interesting enough, I will definitely do a review of the platform itself and of course test the platform. Um my own. So see you on the next video. Peace.